you are somebody who's got family in a nursing home or in a special care facility, I don't have to tell you how hard the past month or so has been. All those restrictions on visiting loved ones, that social distance feeling further than ever. But for one Texas man experiencing the hardest time of his life, he got an incredible show of support when he needed it most. Here is Sean Giggy. For eighth grade history teacher Lynn Shelton, the start of the coronavirus outbreak was the end of an eight year tradition. Back in 2012, Lynn's mom was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and he has visited her virtually every day since. She hasn't recognized him in nearly two years, but every day he still shares pictures of their time together on social media. You know, I kept her alive and not just being some, somebody in a home that nobody knew. However, because of the virus, the facility where she lives is locked down and Lynn is locked out. Unfortunately, at the same time, even though she wasn't affected by COVID-19, Alzheimer's had taken its toll. Betty York died last week. Worst of all, for safety, there would be no funeral and no way to honor Lynn's mom. Or so he thought. He didn't know it, but an incredible surprise was already on the way. On what would have been her 90th birthday, friends and family, nearly 300 people, drove by Lynn's house to celebrate his mom. A lot of these people never even met Lynn's mom. But through the hundreds of pictures he shared, they saw the love in his heart every single day. And all those people, they knew her and they loved her from that. So many people are here because Lynn has shown love to them and it's the least we can do is give him kind of a long distance hug. For eight years, Lynn shared pictures, hoping to give people a glimpse of what made his mom great. When really, he never needed to post anything because they already saw it in him. In Fort Worth, I'm Sean Giggy. Boy, how do you uh, wrap your head around that? One of the hardest aspects of humanity, losing a loved one, not able to properly mourn them with a burial, then one of the best aspects of humanity, people showing up in droves to celebrate. And I know we are seeing countless stories like that, not just across our viewing area, but across our state, our country, and the world. A good story this Monday morning. Still to come on.